Hello and welcome on the video related to chapter 10 of the book Interaction Design Beyond Human-Computer Interaction. The name of the chapter is Data at Scale. And in this video we will talk about data collection and ethics and big data visualization. When we talk about big data, we mean an enormous amount of data. Uh, this data can be collected, analyzed and presented with the support of uh, software. Big data can be found in many places. So there are multiple sources of big data. Uh, some of them are presented here and there are social networks, personal electronics, uh, membership registrations and the World Data Bank that you can find the link in the description of this video. Ethics. Oftentimes, when we have that big amount of participants, we may not be able to ask every single person to participate in the research. So the participant may not be aware that their data are used for research purposes. In that case, you should always check before you start collecting the data with the proper authorities in your country. Anonymized data are the data that they cannot link back to an individual person, either directly by naming the person or indirectly by combining information related to the person, like postal code, date of birth and address, specific address. Pseudonymous data are uh, the data that can be identified so they have personal information, but this personal information are coded. So if someone has the data without the code, cannot identify this specific individual that the data are talking about. In the description of this video, you can find links related to data and the law that exists in Sweden. Big data and visualization. In this slide, there is a video. You can find the link in the description of the current video that shows an innovative way of visualization of big data and the combination of this big data. Uh, big data are hard to visualize oftentimes and especially to visualize a lot of information in one graph, in one picture. Or even if we manage to do that, oftentimes people who are not as related to the specific subject that the person who did the research is, may not be able to understand it. Another link that you can find in the description is a playful type of visualization of uh, a big amount of possibilities. Thank you for watching and see you in the next chapter.